Some breaking news tonight, a plea from the Northeast Tri-County Health District after a COVID-19 outbreak is being reported at a nursing center in Colville. 74 new cases are being reported at Pinewood Terrace after months of successfully keeping COVID out of the facility. Grem 2's Joshua Robinson joining me live in the studio tonight with the latest. Joshua? Yeah, Mark, those 74 cases in total were announced today, including 22 staff and 52 residents. And the Northeast Tri-County Health District says they believe the Delta variant is responsible for this outbreak. Five residents have also reportedly died from the outbreak, which gathered all of its momentum in just under a month. Now, according to the health district, one of those residents was fully vaccinated. So in fact, the district is reporting of the 74 total cases related to this specific outbreak, 33 of them, so about 45% were fully vaccinated. So tonight I want to read you this quote from the Tri-County Health District that was released earlier today. Quote, the Delta variant is ruthless. It is affecting each individual differently, making it nearly impossible to tell who may currently be infected, who may get severely ill, who may only have mild symptoms or who will succumb to complications due to the virus. After experiencing 35 deaths within our three counties since September 1st, we are seeing firsthand that your age, gender, health status, and demographics do not shield you from the severity of this virus. Now, while we're talking about that subject of demographics, the Northeast Tri-County Health District has also released the latest data on the increasing number of COVID-related deaths throughout their community. 39 deaths in total have been reported over the past 30 days linked to the surge in the Delta variant. Now, if you look at this pie chart here, the average age is 74 years old with the range stretching from the 30s all the way to the late 90s. And as you can see, People in their 70s here, making up the largest percentage at 31%, followed closely by people in their 80s and their 60s. Now, this is a story here at CREM2 that we'll continue to keep an eye on. It is a developing story today. You can always find the latest on CREM.com and our CREM2 mobile app. Mark? Joshua, thank you very much.